I always want to make this video, right? Because I have this series of videos here on my channel where I try to convince you to like an artist or a band by showing you my favorite songs of them. And I always wanted to do that with Bring Me The Horizon. It's just that I never really had a good excuse for that. But now, Bring Me The Horizon just released their new single, Die For You. And and here I am trying to convince you to like one of my favorite bands of all time. Let's go. I feel like the world is divided by two different kinds of people. The ones that like Bring Me The Horizon before 2013 and the ones who like Bring Me The Horizon after 2013. And I'm totally 100% on the side of people who like Bring Me The Horizon after 2013. Bring Me The Horizon is originally a metal band, right? And they still are. But the thing is that when they first started, they were completely metal and screamo and, <clears throat> and it's just not the kind of music that I personally like. We have three first albums that I, I really don't care about. Sorry if you're a fan, okay? I don't. But the fourth album, the 2013 album, it's an album that changed everything. Not only because they decided to make the sound a little bit more dynamic, but it's when they realized that actually, if they wanted to expand the band a little bit more and have more fans, they would have to make their sound a little bit more mainstream. And after 2013, we have 2015, we have 2014, but yeah, we have That's the Spirit, the album of 2015, that top three albums in my life and after that after the album that's the spirit everything got a little bit more dynamic everything got a little bit more experimental so a lot of times i see people saying that they don't like bring me the horizon and i'm like no you don't know the right songs of bring me the horizon all right get your spotify ready and subscribe to this channel because i'm tired of being a clown making videos for nobody to subscribe and a bad mood today so to start our video i am assuming that just like me you're not the kind of person that actually loves metal music right so we're gonna start off light i'm not gonna start by release date we're not gonna follow a timeline because like i said i really don't like the first three albums and i want you to listen to the band like the way i did yeah we are gonna start by my favorite album that's the spirit that was the album that made me like bring me the horizon which makes a lot of sense because according to oliver sykes the lead singer of the band that was exactly the goal of it Remember that I said at the very first beginning of the video that they wanted to change the style a little bit so they could have more fans and get a little bit more mainstream? That's what they did. So the sound of this album is a way lighter than the other albums. It's a way easier to listen to, let's put it that way. But what I love the most about this album is that at the same time that the melody isn't that heavy compared to the other <laughs> albums, the lyrics are the heaviest thing that we have in here. And this is probably what I love the most about Bring Me The Horizon, just so you know, the lyrics are always a match and you know what is really interesting that i didn't know until i had to make the research for this video the whole album that's the spirit is a celebration of depression so it makes a lot of sense that it was the album that helped me when i was going through that it was produced by oliver the lead singer and jordan fish that plays the keyboards but we're gonna talk more about jordan in a bit the first song that you have to listen to is my favorite song in life. This song is very, very good and also is the song that gives the title for the album. The line that's the spirit is inserted somewhere in the song. You have to listen to it to, to find it. The thing about not only this song, but also the entire album, I feel, is that it sounds very, very, very good live. And actually, by the way, one thing that I really recommend you, if you're not into Bring Me The Horizon yet, is to watch their show at Royal Albert Hall. It's a metal band, right? Bring Me The Horizon. They are performing that with an orchestra. So we have like this contrast, you know, it's really, really beautiful. This song, it's very intense. It's very sarcastic. So it talks about the angriness and the depression that you feel. And everything is so ironic because it's a happy song. But in the song, they started the backing vocals like it was cheerleaders cheerleaders I, I i'm just saying that listen to that song and imagine that life that's it that's all i have to say the next song if you were a teenager in the 2010s something like that you probably remember because it was a very very popular song throne that song inspired this tattoo over here yes it's a song about betrayal and feeling alone and a lot of things like that it, it is pretty heavy like the whole album um, the, and the band is but it's, it's really really good and the lyrics i swear is one of the best lyrics that i've ever heard in my whole entire life i'll leave you choking on every word you left unspoken 
this one for sure you're gonna like it was the song that made me like bring me the horizon remember that i had the ex-boyfriend that i really loved bring me the horizon and would listen to this album every single day i never really paid attention to it right i never really cared and blah 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 until the point that bring me the horizon released the music video of this song follow you and the music video became one of my favorite videos ever because it's just so cool like if you so creative and it's like it's sweet it's, it's bittersweet yes it's like heavy but at the same time it's a love song and it's a love video so it's for sure one of their lighter songs right like it's a very romantic and it, it it's looky back there like back 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 right in the end it's almost a pop you know it has like a popish vibe but the thing about this song is that it's a love song and it's a song that oliver made for his wife that is brazilian Mm -hmm. Yeah, my people inspire Bring Me The Horizon. This is one of my favorite songs ever. It's one of the best Bring Me The Horizon songs. Every time that I post this song on my stories, someone replies saying that they agree that this is one of the best Bring Me The Horizon songs. And you know what isn't fair? No one cares about this song. No one talks about this song. It's never on the set list. Honestly, just as for what you need. Because this, I literally wanted to make this video just to talk about this song because someone has to say the truth. Really good. If you go through a breakup and you listen to this song, so bitter, it's so raw, it's, it's amazing and I don't know, I, that hits different I need to open space and recommend songs from the other albums, right? But if it wasn't for that, I swear, I could easily recommend the entire That's the Spirit. Avalanche, that is one of their most popular as well, between the community, you know, of Bring the Horizons. <laughs> Blasphemy and Oh No are two songs that they deserved a little bit more. Okay, are you ready? We're going to the next album. I love Amo. It's their 2018 album and just so you know, Amo in Portuguese means I love it. I love this album and I have like a lot of personal reasons to love it. Pretty much I remember when it was released and I already liked Bring Me The Horizon. So when you already like something and they are releasing something, that's different. What I love about this album is that it's an experimental album. So just so you know, a lot of Bring Me The Horizon fans really, really don't like this album, especially the ones that we don't hang out with, you know, the ones that like the first album because this album goes everywhere you know it has a little bit of pop but mainly it has a little bit if it's mainly it's not a little bit but it has a lot of influence of EDM so when they mix EDM with metal the lyrics aren't that heavy compared to the other lyrics that they have right because we're getting there but still I feel like it's a very good album for you to get you understand and listen to Bring Me The Horizon a little bit more because of that anyways from this album I'm only gonna recommend you three songs but I do want you to listen to it and take your own conclusions because every track feels totally different to me. It's like a whole adventure. It's really experimental. They were experimenting every day. It's like, yeah. But the songs that I love the most from this album is Mantra that, again, the music video does something from the song and the fact that this live is amazing also does something from the song. It's just too much energy, you know? Just, but yeah, you really should watch the music video first. The next song, ooh, I love this song so much. The next song that I want to recommend you is In the Dark. That sounds nothing like Bring Me The Horizon. You can feel the EDM influence a way better on this one. And it's just a vibe. I don't trust people who doesn't like this song. I, I mean, okay, you have the right to not like this song, right? Because taste is something very particular. But if you go to their concert or if you see their performance live on YouTube, it could be on YouTube, yeah. If you see them and you don't feel anything by seeing wonderful life live then there's something wrong with you it's my second favorite song of brain the horizon after happy song i would put this one on my top three i love the concept of being like happy and bubbly and a barbie girl and a barbie word and listening to heavy songs we went through this whole journey, right? Now you know Bring Me The Horizon, now you got used to Bring Me The Horizon, we started off light, now we're ready for Sam Turnal. And I really hope I'm pronouncing the album right, okay? It's a difficult one. Emma was a way easier to pronounce. This album is a masterpiece, for real. I feel like when it comes to metal and rock music, I feel like this album is so necessary and so relevant because not only is it a really, really good album, but also is the album that, like I said, at the beginning of the video, made 
even change their style so in this album you can still feel like it's metal is it still heavy that's why i didn't start off with this one but it's not as heavy as the first three the thing that makes this album really important and that i really need you to pay attention to is that we have jordan fish and before this album he wasn't very you know he wasn't there very often but on this one he was a little bit more included so some of the songs were produced by him and you can feel a lot of his touch on a lot of the songs and this album is also the responsible one for a lot of hits that we have when it comes to Bram the Horizon like can you feel my heart for example that actually became a TikTok hit recently and it's a very very good song so again the sound is a little bit lighter compared to the first three albums but the lyrics are really heavy and this is one of their best lyrics go to hell for heaven's sakes no the name if the name isn't enough to convince you to, to listen to this song then i don't know what else you need but i'm gonna give you more reasons to listen to it it's just like happier you know of course it's not a happy song like when it comes to bring the horizon this is really rare but it has a happier tone it has a happier vibe this one is one of my favorites i love this song but for sure it brings the vibe down you know one of those moments in life that you're already sad and then you cannot listen to something happy you need something that is a way more sad so you can be sadder you know so you can be you know you can be miserable that's what you need that's the song okay and the snake started to sing i love listening to brim the horizon in any circumstance at all times every moment i am that annoying person at parties you know that ask for brim the horizon and everyone gets kind of mad like but this one you can't this one you have to be prepared and speaking of sadness, <laughs> Death Bats. It was the first Bring Me The Horizon song that I ever listened to. When I started talking to that ex-boyfriend, you know, like the one that I dated for five years. When we started talking, it was in 2013, right? So, it, and it was right when this album was released. And he sent me this song. So, I had no idea what of what Bring Me The Horizon was until that point. And he was the one who hooked me into Bring Me The Horizon. And that was the first song. Which, if you stop to think, if you haven't listened to the song yet and you go do it now if you stop to think it's such a depressive song to send to someone that <laughs> that you want to date this whole album i don't know if you're gonna agree with me on that but it has a, a no energy for some reason it feels low-key medieval medieval it feels a little bit like that and it feels like it happens on winter in the snow now we get in the post-human era real quick here while the pandemic happened bring the horizon decided to create a concept called the post-human project that pretty much is four different albums with four different emotions and four different energies of the things that they felt during the pandemic the first one that is the one that was out last year is survival horror that's an album that i remember perfectly when that album came out it was right on halloween and, and it kind of goes back to their old stuff you know it's more metal is more aggressive which makes a lot of sense because it was a pandemic and everyone was really angry right so i personally don't love that album I don't, but I can appreciate it. So if you got used to Bring Me The Horizon at this point, or if you liked their old stuff, you're gonna like this one probably. But we do have some really, really good songs on this baby. The first one is Sheer Drops. That by the way, I said months ago on my Instagram that they would open the, the new shows of the new tour with this song. No one agreed with me. And they play their first show and they open with that one because I know what I'm talking about. This song gets back to the depression thing again, but more in an angry way. And I don't know if you're gonna agree with me on that, but it sounds very Linkin Park-ish. It's, it could easily be a Linkin Park song. I don't know, to, to see if you believe me or not, you're gonna have to go there and listen to it. The last song that I have to recommend you of Bring Me The Horizon is Ludens That again is also one of their best songs. And you know what is funny about this song? Pretty much it talks about, you know, like revolution and that we need a new leader and like you cannot touch people. And this song was made before the pandemic. You see what I'm going with it? like yes like they kind of predicted the pandemic without doing it you know it's pretty bizarre so but what i know though is that it worked very well for my pandemic at least i didn't like that song until a certain point and then after that i did so soon we're gonna have a new album by Bring Me the horizon the second album of the post-human project i don't know if they're gonna stick to the four things because the pandemic's over that's it finally i talked like a bitch
But yeah, that's it. I hope you liked the video. I really hope you do your homework. If you do it, if you no, please, please, please. If you listen to Prima Dorazin, can you tag me? Can you tell me what you think? I'm gonna love to know, okay? That's it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a, and give it a thumbs up. I'm tired. If you didn't, can't force you to do anything. But can you do it, right? <laughs> Bye.